Hello and welcome back. Today we've got another £250 worth of 50p's we're hunting through, looking for some commemoratives, ones with more than face value, but ideally looking to fill the book. We've got it backwards. Right, there's a link in the description to the books that I use if you want to pick one up. It's an affiliate link, so I do get a bit of commission if you make a purchase, just so you are aware. Um, we need Kew Gardens, that would be a very nice coin to find, to tick that one off. I think we've done two books now, though, where we don't have a Kew Gardens. We've uh, skipped to the next book, because they are so hard to find. Some Olympic still to go, so we need Equestrian. It would be nice to tick off some on this page as well. So Goalball, Handball, Hockey, Judo, Rowing, any of those would be quite nice. Triathlon 2, and of course Flopsy Bunny. Uh, along with Kew Gardens, the only non-Olympic commemoratives that we need to complete the book. Then there's the coronation coin that we've got all the other ones up to and including it and we found one Atlantic salmon so far, the new 2023 definitive design. So what we're going to do now is get into this bag and see what we find. Right, bag number one will open, whoops, if we can get into it, in real time and I'll show you what it is we're looking for okay that's Britannia the definitive design the standard non-commemorative design used up until 2008 on Britannia's the key date to look for is 2008 that's the lowest minted circulating year a lovely one to find our first commemorative is the coronation 50p it's going to be fairly common because there was a an indicative mintage figure of 5 million announced by the Royal Mint but there is a rarer version that didn't go into circulation and you've got to check the portrait of the king you can see he is uncrowned this is how it should appear in circulation if you find one a coronation 50p with the king wearing a crown in circulation that's an nifc a coin not intended for circulation pop it down there because the final mintage hasn't been confirmed yet we've got another king charles this is the memorial 50 piece this is the first circulating coin to feature the king on the obverse which is quite cool uh, and then Definitive before Britannia, uh, after Britannia, sorry, was the Shield, which ran from 2008 until 2022. There are many more key dates to look for on this because in 2009, 10, 11, 16, 18, and 2021, this design did not circulate. Um, so again, not ones you should find in circulation, but I always check because we have found some in the past. There's also 2017, which is the low minted circulating year, um, the Tooth Fairy one as well, but. Uh, that's a, a privy mark variant of the shield design, which would be a nice one to find, but I think, oh, oh, I did something, 2015 Battle of Britain. So, uh, we have already seen the obverse, but uh, there's some things to check for on this one. So in 2019, to celebrate 50 years of the 50p, these 10 designs were restruck for collector sets only and not put into circulation. So you need to check the date on the obverse to find out if you found a restrike, if you find one of those 10 coins. There's also on the Battle of Britain, two different portraits used for the Queen. The Jodie Clark fifth and final portrait of the Queen went into circulation. The Ian Rank Broadly one did not. So we can see this is a 2015, so not a restrike. JC, Jodie Clark fifth portrait of the Queen. So not an NIFC, that is how this coin should appear in circulation but with that first bag done what we're going to do now is speed up until we find some more oh there is sherlock holmes fairly common commemorative design but i do like that design it's a really cool coin and there we also have diversity of britain another one you'll see plenty of out in change because there's lots of them circulated We start this bag off with Christopher Ironside, a very common face value coin, but I do keep them because they're called Christopher and I'm called Christopher. And uh, when I started doing that, I didn't have as many as I do now. It seemed like a sensible idea. Now it seems very, very silly. Got representation of the pea plaque there, another very common circulating design. Oh, that's something, Pride, one of the more recent circulating commemoratives, very nice. And 
there's pride again this was not as nice a condition as the first one but it's a very common coin anywhere face value Another pride. And there's another coronation 50p. Let's check the obverse. Uncrown portrait, unfortunately, not the uh, NIFC we want to see. We've got Victoria Cross, heroic act there, which could be a restrike, so check the date. 2006, so it's not a 2019 restrike. All the 2019 restrikes are obviously dated 2019. Ooh, this could be very exciting. Okay. This is the obverse that's used on a Q Gardens 50p. It is also the obverse for a WWF 50p, which would be a nice consolation prize if it's not a Q Gardens. It is, of course, also the obverse of the Commonwealth Games 50p, which is very, very common. So, will it be a Q? Will it be a Q? Will it be a Q? No, Commonwealth Games. I wish. I wish, I wish, I wish. It's been so long since I found a Q Gardens. Oh, Roger Bannister there. This could be a restrike, oh, but that one's not, unfortunately. Oh well. Oh, there we've got the UK's entrance into the EEC. It's a smidge over face value. It's the 25th anniversary of the UK's entry, not uh, the actual entry of it. You can see the different dates either side of the design there. 1973, the year we got that lovely uh, hands in a ring design for joining the EEC. And then 1998, the year this was minted to celebrate 25 years of membership, which obviously has now been undone with the Peace, Prosperity and Pepperonis coin. Well, there's a dictionary, very common, and another representation of the People Act. We've got Platinum Jubilee there. Much like the Coronation 50p, there is a separate obverse that was not put into circulation. This is Jodie Clark's fifth and final portrait to the Queen. This is how it should appear in your change. The non-circulating collector's only version has the Queen uh, with an agata on horseback. Uh, but again, you shouldn't find that in circulation unless someone has spent the collector's coin. So worth checking in my books, but uh, don't expect to find them all that often. Benjamin Bunny, the most common commemorative 50p in circulation. Uh, no rotation error on him. We always check for those rotation errors because we have found a couple in the past. Ooh, a Squirrel Nutkin from 2016's Beatrix Potter set. Fractionally over face value. Not enormous on that one, unfortunately, but uh, a nice coin to find for sure.
Oh, another coronation. Could this be the uncrowned portrait? Nope. Sadly not. Victoria crossed the medals. This could be a restrike. But it's not. <laughs> one of these days we'll find a, an exciting version of one of these common coins, I'm sure of it. Public libraries, we've not had that today. I don't think we have. Well, there we go. We found lots of different of the common commemoratives, at least today, which is a, an interesting variety to find. Okay, last bag of the hunt. We've had a nice variety of coins, nothing extraordinary, but you never know what could turn up in this, the last bag. Now, as usual, there are links in the description of this video across to my coin collecting Discord server if you want to come and join that. There are also links to my other social media channels, the PO Box address if you want to write in to me, and of course, a link to the Britannia Coin Company's YouTube channel. That's the company I work for as my day job, so please do check them out too. I'm just going to whisk through the coins off to the side now and see if there's any key dates that I've missed. In terms of key dates, then we have one Britannia from 2008. Although means circulating year we look for, but I did find this exciting era coin. Uh, it's just a shield design, the definitive design. If we turn it over, uh, we can see quite pronounced um, the uh, edges of the coin. Let me grab another shield so I can just demonstrate what I mean. Uh, where's the shield when I need a shield? I did them first, that's why they're at the bottom of the bag. Duh. Right, so that's another shield. You can see borders go along. Now, every time, now again, you can find them where they get a bit thin in places, and you can see it's a bit thinner up there than it is down here. But this, um, I think they're called are they die die collar rotations. I can't remember what the actual terminology. Someone in the comments will know, but uh, it is very very cool. Um, not, I don't think a huge amount of value, but a, a lovely error coin to find. We don't tend to find too many error 50ps, so that is definitely a star find and an exciting error. In terms of our star finds, I think it's got to be that one. Uh, or one of the commemoratives. Let me know in the comments what your favourite coin that's appeared in today's video has been. It's always interesting seeing what you guys like and why you like that coin. And all it leads me to do is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.